Thursday night at the food carts on Southeast 52nd and Foster. Customer Dusty McHugh knew exactly what he was getting. Dinner from Laurel's Chicken Shack. I made it a point to bring my kids here to show the neighborhood that we're not scared of bullies. We're not, this is our neighborhood. Dusty and others are supporting Laurel's on the first night it reopened since June 15th. Police say that night around seven o'clock, officers responded to an assault outside the food cart. Family members tell us the victim was Laurel's owner, Darrell Preston. Preston's attorney shared this cell phone video of the attack and these photos. You can see how badly Preston was injured. His attorney says the attacker hit Preston in the head and beat him, knocking him to the ground and yelling racial slurs. Police are investigating the case as a bias crime. On Thursday, they identified a suspect, 40-year-old Daniel Warren. They're asking for the public's help in finding him. So that's the guy. We showed Warren's photo to neighbors. Wow. Yvonne Torres works at La Biria Republic. He was here the night Preston was attacked. I think I was really messed up what he did, especially to such a nice guy. It strikes you in a personal way. Ed McGregor owns Year of the Fish a few carts down. He's thinking of Preston and the life he brings to this tight-knit pod. <laughs> He's a funny guy, uh, larger-than-life personality, uh, laughs a lot, really loud and boisterous. They hope to see Preston and the joy he brings back here very soon. I also spoke with the food cart pod manager tonight. He says they wish Preston a speedy recovery from this horrific incident and noted they celebrate diversity and strive to maintain a safe and secure work environment for everyone. As for the suspect, anyone with information on where Daniel Warren could be is asked to call Portland police. David. Catherine Cook reporting tonight. Thank you, Catherine.